two developers same company same starting point five years later one was still debugging crud apps as a senior software engineer in a services company while the other was leading a million dollar system migration as a tech lead in a product company the difference not their degrees not their coding skills not even their years of experience it was something so fundamental that most indian developers completely miss it let me tell you about these two developers i once met up both joined as entry level engineers through campus placements one spent their first year just following the training path learning frameworks and doing tasks the other took time to understand system architecture why we chose certain technologies how hardware constraints affected our software choices when we needed someone to lead a critical migration from proprietary hardware to commodity servers guess who stepped up and delivered 50% cost saving that's what we are talking about today the difference between just following the career crowd and building a path that actually makes sense for you you know what's interesting about our industry in india in 2010 everyone was chasing it service jobs in 2015 it was about somehow getting into startup now in 2024 it's about remote roles with global companies and ai replacing developers but look closer at any successful developers journey while others were panic switching jobs they were building a foundation that worked across these trends let me share a real debugging story we were optimizing database performance for different hardware architectures the junior developer had already tried every optimization suggestion from the first page of search results the code looked perfect but the performance wasn't improving if you're thinking but that's just one example stick around i'm about to share three more real stories that completely changed how my team approached engineering problem want to know what solved that problem understanding fundamentals we stepped back and drew the memory access patterns on a whiteboard that's when we spotted it a data structure wasn't cache friendly no ai could have caught that because the real problem wasn't in the code it was in the understanding how the system worked at a particular hardware level yes something controversial knowing when to use redis over postgres sql is actually less important than what i'm about to explain this brings me to the first principle of building a lasting tech career in india deep understanding beats surface level knowledge every single time When you understand why Redis is faster than Postgres SQL for certain operations, you don't need to memorize when to use each. It becomes obvious. When you understand distributed systems principles, scaling applications becomes intuitive regardless of where you work. Here's the second principle. Learn to read systems, not just code. I have interviewed many developers who had implemented authentication systems multiple times. but couldn't explain the security implications of their choices then i met someone who might not have known every aws service but could draw exactly how their system's architecture handled failure scenarios guess who added more value to the team now i know what some of you are thinking but what about ai isn't it going to make all this irrelevant well let me share you what happened just last month that proves exactly the opposite recently while building code examples for my course I used an AI coding assistant. It saved hours of coding time. But here's what's crucial: I spent most of that saved time reviewing business logic and edge cases. The AI wrote perfect code for the wrong requirements twice before we got it right. The ability to spot these misalignments that comes from experience and understanding, not from knowing syntax or a lot of APIs. Think about the best tech leads you have worked with. They might not know every new framework. but they probably have an uncanny ability to spot potential problems before they happen they can look at a proposed solution and immediately see the scaling issues you missed that's not magic it's pattern recognition built from understanding fundamentals here's a practical example when you are studying system design don't just memorize a popular streaming services architecture ask yourself how would this architecture need to change for indian internet condition what problems would you face with our power and network reliability how would you modify this for a company serving tier 2 cities these questions teach you more than any architecture diagram ever could i'll let you in on a secret in my 20 plus years of coding every time i felt stuck it wasn't because i didn't know enough technologies 
it was because I had stopped asking why. Why does this technology exist? Why do we solve the problem this particular way? Why is this considered best practice? The moment you start asking these questions, something changes. You stop seeing technologies as things to learn and start seeing them as solutions to specific problem. That's when you become valuable. Not because you know everything, but because you know how to figure anything out. Technology will keep changing. Five years from now, we'll probably be writing code differently than we do today. But the developers who understand the fundamentals, system design, performance characteristics, security principles, they'll adapt just like they always have. So here's your challenge for this week. Pick any technology you use daily, maybe Spring Boot, React or Kubernetes. Instead of reading about what it does, spend 30 minutes understanding why it was created. What problem was it solving? Why couldn't existing solutions handle it? Drop your insights and comments. I'll personally respond to the most interesting observation. And if you're serious about building a recession-proof tech career in India, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Remember, trends are temporary, but understanding is forever.